Hello everyone, welcome to Cold Fear. No, not Hot Fear, not Lukewarm Fear, but Cold Fear. This is a survival horror game, one that I've been interested in for a very, very long time. I don't even know how long exactly, but many, many years. There was a period, a long time ago, when I was incredibly interested in survival horror games. And I just looked at, I, I tried to find every single survival horror game that I could possibly find that was playable on my PC. And this was one of them. And it does take place on a, a ship, which is a, a setting that I really, really like. These sort of isolated places, like on a ship or on a submarine or in the Antarctic, you know. Any sort of horror that's based in an isolated location is something that really appeals to me. So this game was on my list for the longest time, but for some reason, I don't know why, I just never played it. But here I am, finally, after all these years, playing it. Now, let me be clear, by the way. This is not a good game. It, um, well, I fear it got a rather cold <coughs> reception. And after playing it for about five minutes just to make sure the game actually works, I can confirm that it's a pretty much just a generic survival horror game. There really doesn't seem to be that much special about it. It's it's not very good. So you might, you might, of course, ask why the hell am I actually playing it if I don't think it's very good. Well, for some reason, I'm feeling in the mood for a very cheesy survival horror game. Basically, I'm going to be playing it for laughs. I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm going to mess around. I'm not going to take it seriously. For some reason, I just feel in the mood for some really cheesy stuff. And I think this game is going to give me that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have fun with it. I, you know, normally I play I play games really fast. Normally I put up a, a roughly one hour episode every single day until I'm finished with the game, because I usually play games for very long periods of time. But with this one, I I don't know if I can do that. It depends. I mean, at the at the very beginning of the game, I can say that it is fun just because of how ridiculous it is. However, sometimes the fun of cheesiness can wear off and it just becomes tedium. So that might happen, I don't know. Anyway, what I'm saying is that I don't know if I'm actually going to finish the game, I don't know if I'm going to get consistent episodes out. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I might stop partway through, it just depends on how much fun I'm still getting from the game. But for now, I'm feeling in the mood for some cheesiness. Alright, only two more things to mention. One, is that I'm running a widescreen patch that was made by some lovely individual that fixes the game to run properly on widescreen resolutions and all of that. So I'll have a link to that in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Highly recommend it. And the other thing is that Cold Fear is actually available on Steam, which kind of surprised me. Given its relatively cold reception, I wouldn't have expected it to... I wouldn't have expected anybody to even bother to put it up, but thankfully they did. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Are you ready for some cheese? Let's get going. New game. And let's go with normal. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus, Law, can you hear me? Come on, somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come in. Get me another asset up there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood out. Well, that didn't sound good. And did somebody, did somebody say something about things getting hairy? Oh, it's gonna get so hairy, I think you're gonna need a bigger razor. Alright, so the controls of this game are really bizarre for me. It's, of course, you know, it came out on consoles and it's a mediocre PC board with kind of funky controls. It's, uh, it's really strange. If you enter this third-person view, you can move around to, like, a standard over-the-shoulder kind of view, but if you're not in it, you, you you can't actually strafe. Not really. It It's really hard to explain, but god, it controls so strangely. This game is so strange with the controls that, by default, the reload key for my weapon was bound to F. What was bound to R, you ask? Nothing. That's right. Reload was bound to F, even though R was available. I don't even know. No way I'm getting up those stairs. I'm way too tired to get up those stairs. What do you take me for? Some sort of athlete? Some sort of sexy supermodel athlete? Lifeguard? Ship man? What the hell am I? Actually, yeah, what am I? Like, what is my job? Am I, like, on the sea SWAT? I don't even know. Oh, look, a shiny note. Apparently the paper's very reflective. A note about ammunition conservation. Oh, I've always been a conservationist. General order number 16. Due to the platform's irregular supplies, we must conserve our munitions and medkits as much as possible. Therefore, live ammo training is now suspended pending new orders. 2. In a combat situation, it is vital that all soldiers look to their downed comrades as potential sources of ammo or medkits. In the same interest of economy, use body searches when really necessary. Use the butt of your rifle in close combat situations. This will enable you to gain the necessary distance to adjust your aim. Some of your opponents will attempt to immobilize you. Do not simply empty your clip. Strike out of them to free yourself and shoot at point blank range. This is generally highly effective. Anizchenko? However the hell you pronounce that. So yes, this is a general order to the ship. A general order to the ship saying that you need to look to their look to your downed comrades as potential sources of ammo or medkits. So apparently they expect zombie monster outbreaks all the time. Apparently it's a regular event. Otherwise, I don't see any need to send out this general order. After all, you generally shouldn't be using your ammo unless you're killing tons and tons of things. And killing tons and tons of things on t on a boat is, well, generally not a common occurrence. For some reason, they decided to basically put the tutorial in a thinly veiled uh, attempt to make it fit in with the world, but it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Alright, moving along now. Oh my god, I lost my balance for half a second. What the hell even was that? Okay, so, Mr. Hansen, whatever the hell his name is here, it turns out actually has a special ability that I discovered. Do you want to know what it is? Oh, I'll show you. Hansen, charge! Z 
Oh my god, I lost my balance. My resistance, it's going down slowly. I think I'll wait until the last minute to pull myself up. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm fine. Oh my god, I lost my balance again. Missing in action. <laughs> I don't even have a save. I have to start the game again. Oh, okay, let me skip that. Okay, right, moving along. You know your assignments. Hanson, you've got main deck port side. Watch yourself. You're going solo. How come Hanson gets all the fun? Because he's prettier than you are to see. Oh my god, my balance again. I'm so clumsy. This place is creeping me out. Where is everyone? I'm actually trained in ballerinery, but I've been told I'm very clumsy despite that. Right, so I'm gonna say that having unsecured cargo that can swing around on a, a ship is probably a little bit of a security safety sort of hazard. I'm thinking maybe they secure that stuff to make sure that doesn't happen. Just it looks like a little bit of a a little bit of a safety risk. Especially when rough waters can appear at any moment without without much warning. It just seems like a generally bad idea. I like how I'm kind of walking sideways. I think it's because the boat is tilting, but I can't really see that the boat's tilting, so it just looks funny. And for some reason, when you sprint, it uses up your resistance. Which doesn't really make any sense. Your response to sprinting is less resistance. I don't even know what that means. They should have just called it energy or something. Right, and what shows you that you can interact with something is when the interaction text in the bottom left, which is always there, it becomes highlighted when you can interact with stuff. Thereby making sure that all sorts of interactions you will miss because it is barely possible to tell that anything's changed when you get near it. Oh look, the bottom left of my screen got slightly wider <laughs> in response to being near something I can use. Let's use it. Oh, I mean, oh my god, there's something outside of the window. I'm scared. Sorry, I was a little bit delayed on my response. What? What is that? Whatever it is, it's apparently covered in chrome, just like the paper. Oh, pistol ammo. Cool. I should now reload it using the R key because I rebinded it, because I'm a human, and humans use R for reload. Not F. Nobody uses F. F that. I think that's the only thing in here. Just lots and lots of cable. Uh, approximately five million trillion pounds of cable. Plus some ammo that someone carelessly decided to leave on the floor in front of the control panel because why not? Is that thing still out here? No? Apparently he just wanted to creep me out and then teleport away. Mmm, but there's a headless body. Its feet disappear into the into the ground, into the floor, when the boat tilts a certain way, and then they lift up when it tilts the other way. Look at that. Ew. Why did the already dead body slump over? Maybe it was actually a zombie that was going to get up. But I pre-re killed it. Also, take note of the fact that, well, okay, look at my head. Look at my character's head. And arms. Just look at his whole body. 
You notice the water coming off? I think that's supposed to be you're dripping wet, and that's water just coming off of you. However, what it actually looks like is like explosions of water. It's almost as if I'm wearing water squibs, and they're just constantly being activated and exploding off of me. It's very, very strange. Oh, that's even more of a safety hazard than the last piece of cargo. It's unsecured, and it's on fire. Don't you know? You're supposed to secure your flaming cargo. Very unsafe. I'm going to give them a write-up immediately, as soon as I can find the captain. I kind of want to just play the entire game in this view, just so I can actually properly move. With the standard shooter strafing controls. But this is faster. Flaming barrels. Wait. How are they even on fire? They're metal. Metal doesn't really catch on fire. They don't even blow up. I'm disappointed. Oh my god, go! I've got to find that code. Ah, need the code. I'm guessing I need a code for this one too. I've got to find that code. Hmm, okay. Uh what did I need to find again? Oh, I've got to find that code. Okay. I was close. <laughs> Alright, looks like there's some stairs down over here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I also love... Wait, where'd, where'd the voice acting go? Did, did the voice acting disappear, or was there just no voice acting for that bit of text? I couldn't even read it fast enough. What I was going to say is I also love the fact that this game has the requisite console, like, 40 field of view. Where it's so narrow that it makes me want to throw up. But it's okay, don't worry. Everything is made better by the fact that I can do this. Charge up your attack, Hansen, or whatever your name is. Uh, AoE attack! Is everything dead? Huh? 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 Everything's dead. I have to time this just right, or. Okay, I don't know what the hell that said. Wait, what, what am I timing? Oh, is there some big scare? What the hell? Um, I, what? Oh! Did you, did you shoot me? Why would you shoot me? And what just killed you? Did you just get killed by the water? Um, I understand water can drown you if you stay in it long enough. And it could suck you out to sea, in which case you'd almost certainly die, but... It doesn't normally kill you with blunt force alone. Did he just get killed by being punched into a wall with water? I think he did. Anyway, screw it, let's go. Go, 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 go! I really don't understand how that would kill me. Also, these waves are so big, I feel like the world's ending. Like, these are end-of-the-world waves. This is not normal. This is the entire world is now flooded and everything has gone to hell. And there's no point in returning to civilization because everything is dead. Blood. I guess I'm supposed to be scared. These Russian boats aren't exactly built the same way ours are. I better read the inscriptions so that I don't get lost. Let's see how much of my Russian I still remember. Alright, let's attempt to read Cyrillic here. Renabhar. Nanyib. Okay, cool, that sounds about right. Maybe I can shoot this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, Hansen. You can shoot anything you want, you 
You freaking imbecile. Maybe I can shoot that thing. That that's the level of brain power you're gonna display, isn't it, Hanson? How do I get through this door? Shoot it. How do I talk to this person? Shoot them. How do I get out of this bind? Shoot everything. Okay. Hanson solution. That, that is seriously my solution to unlock doors. I'm not some elite hacker. I am a person who just blows stuff up. Ooh, can I touch it? Ow. Mmm. Would it sound weird if I said I kind of liked the shock? It reminds me of some things. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <gasps> Would it surprise you if I said I'm almost dead? Do I have a med kit? I have no objects. Uh oh. This is bad. Their mouths don't even move. Wait, are you kidding me? The people on the boat... I'm trying to s help them, and they're going to shoot me. Are you fucking serious? There are zombie monsters on the ship, and you're going to waste time shooting the only human you've seen other than your other shipmates. What? Whoa, 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 okay. Let's... Hold on, let's crouch. I know it... Han Hanson, I know you can crouch. H Hanson. I'm press- I'm pressing the crouch- There you- okay? Thank you for responding to my crouch command after the 20th time. Hold on, let's- let's test how responsive this is. You can hear me pressing the key. He's not crouching. W why is he not crouching? Hanson. Hanson. Earth to Hanson. Could you- Hanson? I'm pressing the control key. Could you please... Could you please crouch? Hanson? Could you please... Could you... Could you... Could you crouch? Oh, he doesn't want to crouch. Okay. Fine, Hanson. Fine. Great. It's locked. Oh, I know what I can do. It didn't work. Okay, Hanson. Can you please crouch? Hanson. Han Hanson. The oh, no. Oh. Okay, let's keep trying. H Hanson. Hello. Hanson. Wake up, Hanson. Stop sleeping. Hanson. Han Hanson. 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 Fucking crouch. Do you want to die, Hanson? If you want to die, then stay up. Otherwise, crouch. He apparently wants to die. No. Oh. Hence, there we go. There we go. Okay, don't press control again. He'll never crouch. <laughs> missing an... What do you mean? I'm not missing an action. I know... I'm not missing at all. I'm dead in a hallway. You can find my body pretty easily. Although, actually, well... Granted, it is the end of the world. Oh, God. <laughs> New game. It is the end of the world, so it might be kind of hard to, you know, recover the ship. Anyway, speed run. I don't even know what song this is supposed to be. What the hell am I even singing? I don't know. Action music! Run, 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 run. And let's take a break for a ballerina spin. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna do this all the way there. 
the key to victory. The waves won't even touch me because of my extreme gracefulness. Ow. Alright, let's try this again. Should I even bother crouching? It didn't seem to really help. Wait, is that an explosive barrel right next to him? Of course. Of course, explosive barrels. That's always a thing. I, I don't really know if there's any way to actually avoid getting hit there. Wait, where'd I just... Oh. I thought it was gonna be like a cutscene or something. Ew. Ew, what even happened here? And hold on, I just saw a rat. Where'd you, where'd you go? And also, how do I do a melee attack? The note mentioned hitting things with the butt of your gun, but how do I do that? Hey, Hanson. Do you want to crouch now? Oh, he did. How about now? Nope, oh, he's decided not to crouch anymore. Okay. Fine, Hanson. Fine. It was an inconvenient time for the lights to go out. Are you alive? He doesn't have any more ammunition. I can't see anything. Uh, I'm going to preemptively shoot you. Oh, Jesus, I didn't... One bullet doesn't normally blow up a head like a rotten melon. It's fucking disgusting. Hmm. I think somebody had a little bit too much fun with a razor. Which is strange, because you don't think playing with a mouse would really cause blood to appear in a sink, but it happens. There's some good mice. Right, I'm gonna leave. Oh, they're nice and roasty. Excellent, maybe I can indulge in some cannibalism. Hold on, can I break these boxes? I can. But there's nothing inside of them. Aww. <laughs> like how they're both in the exact this same pose. Must control the sprinkler system. Oh, so I need to shoot it! Aww. Also, why did their heads both explode? All burned. Yes, I know, I, I want their stuff. Apparently in this new world, everybody's heads are very weak. What a strange world I live in. Can I please have their ammo? The, I can see they're holding guns. Okay. So unless they fired every single round inside of them, which is pretty unlikely, they would have ammo. Okay, fine. Fine game, fine. Be that way. It's an awkward pause every time you enter a room. What the fuck? Oh, look at that. They're kissing. How cute. Oh, look at that. Two invulnerable kissing rats. Or mice, whatever they are. How cute. Okay, hold on. I am going to serenade them. Hold on. Here, I'll, I'll do a dance, an interpretive dance, to express how I'm feeling about those two rats. There's a rhythm to it. Okay, you gotta get it just right. Just, just right. Ow. 
And we always end with a bang. They liked it. I know deep down. Deep inside of their ratty souls, they liked it. Hmm. That's a strange breed of dog. Are you okay? I don't think it's okay. I think you should probably get the vet. Ew, what the fuck? Why does everything's head explode when you shoot him? Heads aren't that weak. Come on. Come on, game. Give me, give me some realism here. I'm finding this highly implausible. Wait, did... Hanson, did you just use the health pack? You idiot. You... Hanson. That's not how it works. Health packs are for saving. To use at the most opportune time. Not for using immediately, you greedy, dumb-headed bastard. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. Uh, I just heard someone load their gun. Is there someone... You know that didn't need to happen, right? You know I don't look anything like a zombie, right? I know I'm kind of tired, and I've got a 5 o'clock shadow. So I'm not looking my best. But I don't look like a zombie. Awkward silence. Hmm. <laughs> I just heard more guns. Alright, obviously need to go there, but... I don't think I've... Have I been here for... What the... No, I won't. I wish I could, but I can't, ma'am. I'm sorry. Alright, I have been everywhere. For that is the one door I could not open. Alright, that says... Up your canar. Or, as the bit of text in the bottom left says, very helpfully, armory. That's where I will armor my re. Awkward silence. Everybody's head exploded. I think that's pretty much the strangest thing out of every single thing I've seen in this entire game. It's not the zombie things. Oh no, it's the fact that everybody's head explodes as if every single person contains some sort of a bomb inside of their head that goes off in response to extreme pressure. Excellent. Pistol ammo. A note about the armory. General Order Number 12. Smoking in the armory is strictly forbidden. All types of munitions are stored there, and some are particularly unstable. Moreover, in our environment, there is a high prob probability of corrosion, which makes the handling of ammunition an even more delicate issue. You are reminded that our facilities for dealing with serious injury are extremely limited. strange. There's a note with a bloody handprint on it which suggests it would make for some interesting reading. Only I can't read it. Ah, well. I'll have to dream about it. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at those beautiful boxes. 
Is that made from <gasps> double walled corrugated cardboard? <gasps> I've never seen such beautiful boxes in my life. <gasps> this needs a dance. This needs a dance. Ha da da. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Zomamo. Um some some ammo. Hansen. I think he left a little bit behind. Just did the just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit of ammo. Hmm. Okay, so I've heard you're not supposed to smoke in here or do anything like that because of the munitions. They're kind of delicate. So it'd really be a shame. Oh god! I don't think they need to worry about smoking. Awkward silence. Right, so basically this is a horror game where I don't need to worry very much about my ammo. So Wait, so is this setting it up so it's a survival horror game in which I don't really need to worry about my ammo because there's always going to be an armory nearby? I suspect that's exactly what's happening, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe these armories are very, very spread out and rare. It just kind of seems against the point of survival horror to have plentiful ammo. That's kind of not what they're about, right? Because that kind of turns it more into an action game than survival. What the hell is this down here? Oh, it's flooded. Um, hold on, let's see what's up here. Well, let's see what's up here first. Awkward silence. Hmm. Do I go up or do I go down? Awkward silence. I don't know about you, but I feel like going down on Hanson. Let's go. Cold room one. Well... We've got the cold. Now we just need the fear. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. Under pressure. Oh, there's a chrome plated flashing light thing down there. Upper deck key. Cool. That's really fucking disgusting. Ooh, pistol ammo. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. Wait a minute. Hold hold on. Let me do that again. Why does the light on his gun turn off when he reloads? Why? Is is that a feature of his light? Got to find a handle to stick back on this door. Uh What? I I'm sorry, could you say that again? Gotta find a handle to stick back on this door. Hanson. Han Hanson. Hanson, look. What? What is that? Hanson, what, what do you think that is? Do you know what that is, Hanson? Do you know what they call that? Did you receive training on what that is? That's a handle. You, gr you grab it. You oh, fuck you, Hanson.
Awkward silence. Great, it's locked. Oh, well, you taught me the fix to that, Hansen. It didn't work. You're an idiot, Hansen. I'll never trust you again. Mia nicked. Wait. Th this is the one place that doesn't have an awkward silence? What? Every other door has had an awkward silence transition, but this one is actually smooth. I don't understand. Anyway. No need for a medkit right now. Oh, I guess I can get infinite healing at the med station too. Cool. Did that is that a blood bag and it's just been dripping on the ground? Ew. Well, I'm only about 40 minutes into the game and I'm already pretty much desensitized to blood. It's like I'm playing Outlast all again. All over again. Great, it's unlocked. I just tried that door, but I tried it again because I thought maybe somebody unlocked it in the meantime. But they didn't. I think this place needs some cleaning. Can I grab this broom? No. Oh, what's that? Aw, oh, pistol ammo. Well, I can do the next best thing to cleaning this. Alright, good enough. I love how the camera makes it so you can't see anything that you want to. It's really handy. Alright, I'm just going to stay in this corner. Unlocked. Awkward silence. Ooh, bouncy tops. Did you see those lights? They're bouncing like crazy. They were literally bouncing up and down. Even the part that connects to the ceiling. Too hot for me that way. What a genius observation, Hansen. Good job, good, good job. I'm proud of you. You managed to recognize fire. Awkward silence. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I couldn't hear you over the sound of your heads exploding. No, seriously, that was really freaking loud and now I think I have hearing damage. I mean, no luck. Are they are they actually moving or is that just a strange effect of the boat? I think they're actually moving. They are. What the <laughs> It's like they're doing a slow, elegant dance. The dance of the dead. Well, you want to dance? I can't do. I don't like this window. 
No, oh, apparently it's unbreakable. I have a newfound respect for you, Window. Now I like you. Kixer. Awkward silence. Who left the gas on? Who... Who left the gas... Do you know how dangerous this is? Look, if someone was to just... Shoot a gun... Think of what could happen. You... Holy shit, what have I done? Okay, it fixed itself. Oh my god! Why... Why is the equipment on this boat so faulty? Look, that door didn't even latch properly. What the hell? And why were you pre preparing zombie goo in the kitchen? Do you know how unhealthy that is for your crew? Everybody knows zombie goo is even worse than spam, okay? Awkward silence. Uh. Hanson, I think we've just found someone dumber than you. Why? 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 Would you charge through fire at someone when you have a gun? You could have shot me through the fire. You realize flames don't stop bullets, right? But instead of using your gun to shoot the man in clear sight 15 feet away, you ran into fire screaming a battle cry and burned to death in seconds. What the hell is wrong with you? It's no wonder whatever science experiments they had going on board or whatever causes zombie apocalypse virus thing. It's no wonder it got released with incompetence like this for show for show on the board. On board. The damn ship. Also, I can't talk, so I'm taking my frustration out on you. Yeah. All burned. Yeah, he is, but he also has a different type of weapon. But it looks to be an MP4 or something like that. But apparently I can't take it because the the gun got slightly scorched by the two seconds of flame that it was exposed to. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Awkward silence. Am I going backwards? No, I'm not. I'm... Where? Oh, God. All right, what do you bet I can one-shot him? Oh, wait a minute, I just found the melee key. It's the use key. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna one-shot you. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. I can't help but notice the fact that I'm pretty sure the game hasn't even saved. Wait, what do I have? Wait, so the objects panel is now available for me to go to, but there's nothing in it. What? What? Anyway, yeah, I don't think it's saved. Have I seriously been playing this game for almost an hour and it hasn't even saved? How do I save? Eh, I'll leave your head unmolested. Ew, that sounded weird. A note about barrels. Okay. This sounds fascinating. Colonel, the standard regulation 
regulations for storage of explosive chemicals are not being followed, neither on our supply ships nor on the drilling platform itself. I have even seen barrels lying about that are not tied down. I ask you to exercise your authority to remedy the situation. I know that these barrels can be extremely effective against our enemies. Therefore, even if it means using them as weapons, I would prefer to decide on their positions with you. I will ensure that my men use them wisely. The they're seriously planning the positioning of extremely dangerous explosive barrels on board their ship. How about you don't take explosive barrels on your ship in the first place? Or you put them in some place very far away, protected with lots of armor. Don't put them out where you're apparently expecting to shoot up your own ship. Why are you even expecting to shoot up your own ship? The hell is wrong with these people? It must be downstairs. Oh, what? What is it? Henson, Hanson, whatever the hell your name is. George Clooney. What is it? Lansing is the one with the emergency radio code. He should use... Uh, should be, he should be on the front deck. That's my objective. That doesn't explain what it is. I feel a dance going on. Oh yeah, interpretive dance and... Oh my god, my balance. I actually like the view from here. Oh, it's quite pretty. Look at the whole deck. Oh, I'm noticing all sorts of details I never saw before from this angle. Whoa. Nothing on him. <laughs> Nothing on him except a weapon I don't have that I can obviously take, but for some reason I don't. Other than that, nothing on him. Wow, I have bad aim. Hmm. You look a little... skeletony. But the weird thing is, only part of his body is actually skeletony. His arm and kind of his head and chest, but the rest of him looks perfectly normal. Indicating that he has not, in fact, been out here for months. Or however long it would take to rot to your bone. How strange. Ooh, a harpoon. I'm gonna fight some gigantic sea monster like in Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Probably not. <laughs> right, well I said something is down here, so I guess I need to go down. Or so, I don't even know where I'm... Is there even a map? Like, what if I press M? Nothing. I don't think there is a map. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Oh, you said shoot you in the head? Okay. Well, already done. Nice combat roll, though. That was fancy. Although, let's be honest, it was kind of unnecessary. I can't even loot this body. Man, it looks like the floor's been waxed. Look at that reflection. It's like a mirror. Everything's been chromed in this damn place, even pieces of paper. Alright, well, there's a big door over here, which is suggestive of its significance. Awkward silence. Oh, it's dark. You know what I'd really like about now? A save. I've been playing this game nearly an hour, and I haven't found a single save point. What even are the save points? I mean, Resident Evil used stuff like typewriters. I wonder if this game's gonna have its own version. Nice roll. I'll give it 
five out of ten. It, it it's okay. No, and apparently he's now making a snow angel in his death. Look at that. Beautiful. A graceful creature, even in death. I'll take that. I like the sting when I use the hydrogen peroxide on my wounds. Oh. What even did What even happened to everyone? Like where's your upper body? Where did it go? If something wanted to take your upper body and eat it, which is apparently what happened because your upper body isn't here, so it hasn't simply been removed, it's actually been consumed. Why would it stop with your upper body and not take your lower body? I mean, come on, once once you're in, like, once you take someone's upper body, you're kind of invested at that point, and you might as well just finish the job. A page from Dr. Kamsky's diary. And pistol ammo. Do they even basically, do they underline... I think they even underline the stuff that you're supposed to pay attention to. In other words, they're basically telling you none of this stuff matters except for the stuff that's orange. Anyway, I'm gonna read the whole thing though. And my nose it just ah. There we go. Notes on exocell infection. Oh, it's gonna explain the infection that's infected the things, even though I haven't really encountered any of the infected yet. We have deliberately infected and observed over 300 subjects. Let me stop you right there. There's your problem. I think I know what I think I know what caused this infection. You all did it on purpose, and also you're incompetent, so it kind of escaped. Hmm. Subjects, 300 subjects, including dogs, apes, orcas, and human beings. Those subjects have been placed under permanent biometric surveillance and dissected in ac uh, to accurately chart the growth of the exocell organism, and help us learn how to control the process. Infection and change. The time it takes an infected individual to mutate depends on two factors. How long it takes the exocell to get a tendril into the victim's brain, and the infected body's natural resi resistance. At present, we have no way of knowing how long the complete process takes for a given individual. Since body mass, height, and age seem to be of little importance. Any individual infected by... by an exocell should thus be given the antidote as quickly as possible. If no antidote is available, the host's brain must be destroyed. And I mean destroyed, to prevent the subject from becoming an active and potentially contaminating host. Indeed, the exocell seems to be able to reanimate a brain that has been clinically dead for several days. In other words, blah blah blah, this entire thing basically boils down to, we did bad stuff, we're incompetent, uh, zombies shoot them in the head. Gotcha. I shall oblige. Done. Damn. It's even making a zombie noise while it's slumbering. I'm not gonna fall for it. Ooh, a watch. Wait, what? It looks like a watch. Never mind. It okay. Apparently it was pistol ammo. I could have sworn that was a watch. Hm. Oh, hi. Yeah, hold on, hold on. And... Nope. Wait a minute, what the hell? The man with the metal skull. Your head is not like a rotten melon. How peculiar. Lansing? 
Oh, it's because they're waiting for a cutscene, and then it's going to reanimate. And it'll be all like, blarg! And I'll be all like, oh my god, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Come on, reanimate, you know you want to. What the hell is that? Oh, something's coming for me. At least I found the code. Ew, what the fuck? There's the upper half of the body. Where were you? And what the hell are you? Wait, what the? You're alive? Oh, you're still alive, aren't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was still alive. Now it's actually dead. Damn, that thing's fast. I'm sorry, but I'm doing that. I'm shooting you in the head and exploding your head to honor your memory. While also at the same time destroying all of yours. Ooh. I'm looking pretty sexy. Yeah. In fact, I think this needs an interpretive dance. Yeah. Looking good, Hanson. Or whatever my name is. Yeah, so, um... That is apparently the upper body from that guy. And I was here for... I don't know. Well, I read the diary and all of that, so I was here for at least a couple minutes. Which, mean that, which means that man has been separated from his lower body for at least... A couple of minutes. In other words, there's a 0% chance he could have possibly been alive that long. You cannot survive without the lower half of your body. It just doesn't work that way. I would really like a save point right about now, game. It has been an hour. The damn thing's stuck. Aw, oh, shit. Didn't work. So, wait a minute, hold on. Did I pick up the code? I did. Find the radio room is my mission. Do you... <laughs> what? I've been waiting for a save. And the game doesn't give me any sort of a save point. But when I exit this door, it just randomly asks me if I want to save. Is that the save system? That's the save system. Is that random doors will save? Okay. Cool. You're going to fall off, aren't you? You know, I'm just going to let you take him out. Why? Yeah, why even help you? You're just going to try to shoot me, so I'm just going to stay here and you deal with him. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I think I should probably run. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, so look at this barrel here. You see it? Yeah. Ow, my face. My everything. My everything is... It, it tingles a little bit. Would it surprise you if I said I actually like the feeling of all of my flesh burning? Hmm. I'm just kidding. I don't want to play that again. Okay, well, finally I got to my first save. It only took an hour. Jesus, an hour to the first save. Gotta say, this is, uh... It doesn't appear to be a game that takes kindly to people that have very limited amounts of time to play. Yeah, you... I mean, I could have gone for, like, 55 minutes, and if I had to go, if something came up and I had to go, I would have lost all of that progress. Very strange. Anyway, 
This game is ridiculous, and so far I'm actually really enjoying it. So far it's still fresh. I don't know if it's going to say that way, but... Yeah, it's, it's so absurd. This game is completely absurd, and I kind of love it. I'm actually really enjoying it. So yeah, I'll definitely be back for at least one more episode. We'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with more Cold Fear.